My name's Ben Webster. Um, I go by Tree Tribe um, or Tree Tribe Samples, I guess. Um, and I'm originally from San Diego, California, but recently moved out to Boulder, Colorado um, for some music stuff and, and the studio out there. So, yeah. Nice. My name is uh, Cam Wazek. I produce under the artist alias Cass Wazek. Also started a lighting company, uh, Prolex Entertainment. We help out with lighting productions um, around the state of Michigan, help local uh, artists and companies throw their events. My passion uh, kind of started really early for music, just listening. Uh, I got like my first Walkman in second grade or something. <laughs> as a Christmas present and that was kind of like I wanted to start playing piano and stuff didn't really get super into the music stuff until eighth grade though when I started playing drums um and then later on in college kind of figured out the like music production side of things and just started kind of snowballing from there um into into what it is now very very similar uh uh, family grew up loving music and uh, when I was around the age of five got a first drum set started playing that forever around like 13 and 14 so picked up guitar and piano went to college to learn music switched into business and still keeping the train rolling my biggest inspirations um, range fairly heavily i really love the blues grew up listening to the blues so like stevie ray vaughn bb king um uh oh there's so many muddy waters like all those guys and then um i'm i do mostly uh hip-hop lo-fi hip-hop production um so jay dilla is a huge influence for me um mad lib um sleep dealer a uh, more recent guy um but he's he's still a legend um and yeah um on the rap side of things because i i also do um vocal recording and and mixing and stuff so like kendrick lamar and uh his engineer mixed by ali who was at the show and learned a lot from him so those are some pretty big influences of mine production wise uh, Dr. Fresh and Jaws for the EDM side um, as well as like rock, heavy metal, dubstep any dubstep artist uh, the, um, one of the other main influences were uh, the rock and roll from like the 80s and uh, part 90s Motley Crue had a crazy uh, production where they would, they would put on a show with their music they had great music also put on a show and that's what got me somewhat into like lighting and the production side of shows is um, you know, have a great lineup and then have an awesome show uh, to go along with it. Favorite thing I saw at the NAMM show. Um, there's so much this year. Like it was a really good year. Um, I'd have to say one of the coolest things I saw was uh, this, um, this like hybrid board. They were partnered with uh, Rupert Neve Designs, one of like the first people to invent like recording gear, <laughs> um, and so they had this like hybrid desk that they built, um, and yeah it was it was insane it sounded amazing one of one of they were playing a demo that was actually recorded through it and it it like won gold this year or something so it was it was pretty cool to to kind of see so good technology that was awesome <laughs> yeah coming from a uh, electronic dj perspective one of the coolest things i saw was there was a um for crabbing you have your crossfader they had an instrumental going through the left side, and on the right side they had a scratcher. It, it was a Kickstarter company. This um, They had the fader 
whole mechanical part move up and down and that was your pitch and you could change if the pitch was high or up was pitch was low and then you had the crossfader which um your record was the oscillator and then your pitch fader was here that was from one of the coolest things i saw dj perspective wise uh instrument perspective wise were drums that tuned themselves top and bottom at the same time drum tuning you have to tune there's six to eight lug nuts on each drum head you have to tune each lug nut individually top and bottom so 16 lug nuts and um this company decides to link all the lug nuts through a single cable and with one tuning peg you can tune your whole entire drum higher or lower in pitch and i've never wanted to buy a piece of drum so bad <laughs> And this company is also a Kickstarter, so they don't. Mm. We need uh, a couple orders to get production started. So more people that order this drum, the better, because then I can get my drum set as well. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that last year, dude. They they had that last year, and and it must be still gone. But that was that was one of the coolest things so I saw last year yeah, too. It's yeah, crazy man. Yeah, it's that so thing cool. is insane. So. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'd probably have to be a U87, man. They get so much love. <laughs> Neumann U87. <laughs> That's what I'd have to say. I'd enjoy being a lighting fixture. I'd enjoy being one of the Chevet lighting fixtures. Uh, the Maverick Storm It's waterproof. The reason why, they are hung up on the ceiling, and they have a great view of the whole... <laughs> Whole convention and uh, you just get to chill up there the whole time. <laughs> I've performed uh, only a couple of shows, um, not that big since I mostly do beats and stuff, but I'd say my biggest show was one that I didn't perform at. And it was the first show I ever heard one of my mixes on, like, a huge PA system. And I, I mixed that song on iPod headphones, like the Apple earbuds. <laughs> and it was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. And, uh, I mean, it, it wasn't, like, ear piercing, but it was, like, you know, it made me realize um, that it, it could get better for sure. So that was... That was a pretty, it was a cool moment too, you know, you hear your first mix on some, some big speakers, so, yeah. One of the most memorable shows, like, to be at, um, EDC Las Vegas and Rock on the Range in Columbus, Ohio, uh, as well as just saw Bass Nectar 360, those are memorable shows to witness, and then memorable shows to perform at are, uh, this past uh, welcome weekend up at Central Michigan, we brought out um, Bass Boss speakers and brought out uh, the lighting company, Polix Entertainment. Me and a couple homies uh, got on the lineup and threw down at uh, one of the one of the main bars that people go to there, and it was a great turnout for the welcome weekend and one of the most memorable moments for sure. Performing for it, yeah. Currently, um, working on uh, promoting and, and getting together um, a couple shows in the Denver, Colorado area with um, a couple of my, I guess, clients you could call, but um, people that I record, rappers, um, we're trying to get a show kind of moving around there, um, and as well as um, working on a couple of small EPs and just making some beats for people, working on my own beat tape as well. Current plans uh, are fully involved with my lighting uh, company, Prolux. We have a couple of shows coming up that we like to do some special things for and get the event underway. Future plans is DJing under my own system and getting a mini tour going with uh, 
homies and friends from as far out as we can reach to everywhere we can go bring this stuff um bring lights sound speakers have a good lineup and make this happen best way to stay updated with uh what i'm doing is on instagram um um go by tree tribe underscore samples that's t-r-i-i -I, tribe um and then samples with a z it's confusing but um and then also on soundcloud it's just tree tribe um spotify um we have an an album out uh with mute smith that i produced um and that's on apple music as well it's called flurries you can check out our facebook and uh website at prolex entertainment uh website.com facebook just search it um for my personal artistry you can search cast wazek on um soundcloud spotify apple music and instagram Thank you very much for, for doing this. Yeah. And thank you, Nam, too. Thank you, uh, Joe Lamond, for putting Nam on. Definitely. Yeah, yeah and thank you to uh, Volterock.com for this uh, interview. Thank you, man. This is dope. Absolutely. Absolutely.